the game of the day between the Valley and S11 Gaming. Quick note as to where these junglers are going to start. And it's a, not a mirror start here. It's actually orange to purple. So both of the junglers starting in the top side of the map, yeah. trying to make sure that they are in the right area later on. We'll have to see for both teams which lane are they going to try and put their emphasis on as Erwin. Where they're looking for a bit of a disturbance onto MOBA Zane. And they force Reggie too. Yeah, that, and that's very, very solid because now they have a better a better chance to actually secure the Little Wanderer, which accelerates your level 4 uh, capability. And right now, Fly Chicken as well as Papadal, it looks like Fly Chicken is really trying to hold off the lane, making it so that he gets his level a little bit slower, and perhaps at, at the second minute, gonna quickly cut the lane and then try to force a fight onto the turtle. Oh, already Jotun making his way. Well, he'll be able to get that Lethal Wanderer. We'll have to see, man. I mean, they... It's only level 2 right now, but the tension in the air. At any moment, any of these small skirmishes can burst out into a full-on team fight. As Jotun right there will be the secure, but Mova Zane actually makes a aggressive play, and that will be a stun onto Erwin. He's able to escape right now, but for the Valley, they have secured control over the turtle area. So despite that little wanderer going over to S11, overall map-wise, the Valley walked away with more. Yeah, definitely. But, but right now, I'm really looking at the draft from S11. They have two ways that they got to play for it. If they can do both, it's great. Because they got to chill for a single target lock along with the Hayabusa. If they can use that, they can create a lot of space for both Chan and Mile to actually get their items and, and scale up. If they don't, they can slow down the game a little bit and they will still do well enough. But it's kind of like wasted opportunity. I want to see how Jotun plays with Erwin because if they can actually put pressure onto the Valley in the early stages of the game, especially around this turtle fight, that'd be great. If they're playing super passively, they're kind of wasting their, their, their win condition. This is the opposite. It's so aggressive. Arashi, look, you see this? Do you see this? He's invading! He's invading already, trying to make sure that he takes advantage of the fact that the Valley is prioritizing this turtle. Of course, the purple won't be as important for Akai in the hands of Moba Zane, but right now, with that turtle in tow, actually, we can see that the Valley might be looking for something else. Fried Chicken just pushing that aggression as they are actually making moves towards the purple buff afterwards. Moba Zane trying to make sure that he does not lose out on the purple buff. He gets it, and he is gonna use a heavy spin to try and escape from that situation, and S11 Gaming will not be able to find anything in exchange. Amazing! Hakuna Matata, everything will be alright. Did you see how uh, Zayn took the turtle and then eventually stole away Jotun's uh, purple as well, so nothing mattered. Well, right now, the Valley, they're in a very, very good spot because if we look at the map, they're winning top side mid uh, as well as the bottom side of the map. And Orwin right now, he's being caught and, and Hoon is unable to secure the kill, but that still puts a lot of pressure. S11, they're like, okay, like just, just to put it in numbers, right now the Valley, they're controlling like 60, 65% of the map. And S11, they're just slowly losing the map away. And if you're losing the map, you don't have catch potential and your farm is going to be so delayed. Exactly. And, and that's what makes the difference because S11, going into the game, we, we said it in the draft, they want a snowball with a lineup that has a Hayabusa. They need the snowball. Well, this mid game might be what they need. Erwin going in, trying to find something, but Super Shark will be able to actually stave off that aggression. Mail goes for the clear, and that's the power of the Beatrix, being able to clear the wave so fast, and that allows S11 to find some breathing room. This is almost like just because the Valley could read what S11 is going to do because we see like attempts, okay, Erwin go here, Erwin go there, but Super Shark is just there to mitigate the, the, the engagement yeah. and White Chicken, I don't need no help, I'm a Thanos, yeah. 1v3 me, I can take it. That's as dead a lane as it gets and I love it, that, that that's coming from me, I'm an XP laner in game, so going into uh, the mid game, where we're approaching the mid game, closing up into uh, possibly the second to last turtle here, 10 seconds away. So far, the Valley has known how to respond to everything that S11 is doing. And is, am I right? Did Momo Zane steal it? Well, Papa Dog right now being the main target for the members oh. of the Valley. He's able to escape though with that flicker. The heavy spin is still being used by Momo Zane and Fried Chicken will be able to pick up that first blood. And that will be the Valley getting an advantage. And now they are going for more. Yeah, four minute first blood, that's great. What's not great right now is I have a general rule for assassins. If you don't do well early, then... You're almost. You're not gonna contribute much into the game unless you find the specific target. It's it's easier said than done because right now Hoon and Basic, I don't see them getting harassed. And if this continues, the Valley they can really set up the map so that they can take whatever they want. S11, they gotta find a way to make sure that they get a kill or an objective on the map 
If not, they're really putting the valley in a very, very good spot. Everybody looking for something right here, but Super Shark is being so menacing in the front line, ensuring that the members of S11 do not have any chance to come even close to the oh. turtle. We see a bit of a split right here as Fire Chicken jumps on Chan. He'll be forced to run away and actually almost gets taken out very, very low. The steal attempt from Yuton is attempted, but it won't be enough. The valley is taking full control here. Oh, man. Two things, right? Number one, Erwin is overloaded. I feel like that Cho is trying to do too much. Trying to help his team come back, playing for vision, looking for pickoffs, and just the same. Fly Chicken is a monster. You see how hard he was pushing? Oh, wait, top lane! Top lane, Yoten goes in for an aggressive play. The Shadow Kill is being used, but there's three members there, way too much. The Ruin oh! is being popped up, but Basic will be able to get a kill. The Snipe from Mail is being used, but it won't be enough. The Valley takes out Jotun, and as you mentioned, Assassin's not doing well in the early game. Right now, S11, they, they almost got to slow down and actually talk to each other because it's not... It's Right now, Erwin, like you said, overloaded. You want to catch? Who? Who do you want to catch? Because almost everyone is impossible to catch. Some minor mistakes from S11. Chan alone getting chased out by Fly Chicken. Moba Zane dictating the jungle. There is nothing for Jotun. Level 10, Moba Zane, level 8. Jotun. And this is uh, Akai that's rocking the jungle emblem without the cooldown reduction on the red tree. So he has to make more, uh, I don't know, better but time decisions. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so that means Mombazin has evolved so much since we last saw him on the world stage. We see a bit of a movement though. You can see that the Valley looking for yet another play. The still comes in. The Ruin Religion is being used as well. That will be Escape from Mile using that flicker. And that is the tower taken away. And look at the sneaky Escape being used by Eren. Yeah, and again, like, sure, they, they, they use a lot of their own resources, but it's totally worth it. You're not letting the marksman farm. You're taking away turrets. 4,000 gold lead with just two kills. Right now, it's 11 and, and, and the Valley. They're like, we're just going to play respectful. We're going to play disciplined. If we have to fight, we will. But if we don't want to, then just run away. We're just going to take what's ours anyways. Oh, yeah, that, that's something to note here. About 4.5k ahead, seven minutes in. Slowly but surely, the valley has become more mum. Earlier, there were more game to find these little skirmishes, but now they're just like, yeah, no, we'll take what we can, but only on our side of the map. We can see that the XP lane has also been such a problem. White Chicken will be a lot more of an issue later on because he's doing that macro play. You can see that the members of S11, they're just forced to be pulled away from the main objectives due to that pressure. And there's not much. S11 can do here. Again, uh, my eyes are on Erwin. LaFell, you started this whole thing. He's like, Erwin, do this. Erwin, do that. And I think number one question is, do they even know where the valley is for Erwin to do these things? I think the valley, they just have the sharing. And oh, Papado tries to engage. And Hun missed Flicker, but it really doesn't matter. No one caught him. Right now, the Sharingan eyes on the valley. They know what's going to happen before it happens. Erwin tries to come in. Papadot tries to come in. Is like, I see you coming in, and there's nothing that you can do. Hoon 1v1 against Jotun. Oh. Not enough damage. You want to know You want to know secret? You want to know secret? You know how Hoon survived that? And Fight Chicken's going to wow. get this, by the way. Ooh, Fight Chicken is still trying to escape from the situation. 1v3. Oh. It won't be enough, though. Jotun will be able to pick up that kill, but at what cost? Right now, it's a 1 for 1, but the valley will be pushing. It's worth it, this conversion. By the way, Hoon, his first. First main item, LaFell, or actually listen up, Brute Force Breastplate. Wow. I, I, I don't need to deal with the much, any kind of damage, that's, basic, it's all you. That's eight, 185 IQ right there. I, I'm just gonna survive, man. They, they're, they're gonna try to find me? Well, good luck. You found me. Now what? Now what? Right? Talking about how you buy items at the right time, knowing your role and what your team wants to do, that's something that most E's won't do right there. First item, Brute Force Breastplate? Yeah, just to add on just a little bit, Hayabusa needs to win early. He lost early. He was denied early. Now he doesn't have enough damage. Now you build tanky items against him. It's not looking good. There's just a lot of options available for countering this Hayabusa because he can use the win of danger. Oh, oh heavy spin being used right here. Yotun will be the main target. Fight Chicken jumps on that opportunity as Papa Dog will be the main target. The flicker with the Numen and Blast does not land, unfortunately. But the Valley has taken control once again as 11 Gaming has no solution. Man. The Valley made Papa Dog more like Baby Dog. <laughs> He's not Baby doing dog. much. Look, he's sitting at 0, 3, and 1. Usually, the Fredrin wants to go 2v1, 3v1 in lane. The way that the economy has gone, he can't build items. And the thing is, Fried Chicken is like, I don't know what rotating means. I'm just going to stay here. Yeah. And if someone wants to stop me, y yes, they can. Yeah. But while you're trying to stop me, everyone else, they're moving the gears towards mid, moving the gears towards top side in the jungle. Oh, and right the Valley is taking all. 
That's a concealed play by the Valley, looking for Erin right here. Uh -oh. Luminum Blast being popped so, so early. It is cancelled, but look at the damage coming from the basic. As far as Hoon, there's way too much for S11 to take. That will be Erin taken out yet again. Ah, Peter Bryce, you monster. You see how much damage he was dealing? All he needed was to slow down Erwin, not even stop him in his tracks. It's just, okay, stay there for a bit. All right, good, we move on. Moving on, enough. moving on indeed right now. This kill score is 6 to 1. And S11 Gaming, it looks like they're not entirely sure what should they do. And right now, he's, Hayabusa is just trying to clear the waves. Super Shark as well as Fight Chicken really don't care. This is the first Lord. Can act, the Valley actually end it right now? They don't really have a lot of range to work around with. Of course, they have the high ground coming in with the real, the real world manipulation. And now with the waves being pushed, they're going to get at least one here, it seems like. But it seems like S11 is playing it calculatively. And the Valley do not want to risk Erwin making that hero play, keeping him on his toes, though. All right, uh, this is the Valley making the call. We'll take it slow. We'll take tier two in mid. And so far, yeah, Fight Chicken has left Casa de la Chicken. Like, he left that bottom part of the map, and he's now helping push 5v5. It's just so difficult as the Valley goes for the top tower right here. Look at Fight Chicken going in, oh. the 1v4 essentially under the tower, and he's not even taken below half HP. The rest of the team tries to follow up on this big play, but it seems like S11 will not be able to even deter him from doing so. The only reason why the Valley had to retreat because they saw the Hayabusa down in the bottom lane because it looks like they have the damage and if they do want to engage, they have that option. They just got to be careful because if this Hayabusa continues to take all of the turrets, then it just becomes that Lord fight. If they're too uh, occupied around the Lord, the Hayabusa could just end the game. So right now, you, you, you said it yourself, S11 Gaming, they are very calculative. So it's like, okay, it's kind of obvious we don't have enough damage. Mm -hmm. But the turns, they don't buy items. They don't buy uh, any physical items to make sure that they can take more damage from the Hayabusa. So I feel like this is one of the only ways that they can play this out. So they got to find a way to slow down S11, getting enough items onto uh, the Beatrix as well as onto the Xavier. Because the Xavier right now, not having the Lightning Truncheon makes it so that he doesn't have enough damage. And right now, it looks like he's kind of thinking, okay, he finished the Lightning Truncheon, so he should be able to do a bit more damage after this. Right on cue, but look at the Valley looking for a play yet again. The purple buff will be the main target here. And S11, they just back away so oh, far. Okay, never mind. I, I thought, like, well, was that a steal now? Moments still got it. Oh, no. wait. No, China. it was a steal. Oh, it was a steal. Oh, sharpshooter. Nice. From top. Yeah. See, Lightning Trenchum, it matters. It matters. That's a lot of burst damage. And if the game goes longer and longer, that poke might just be what will win them the game along with the split push. Yeah, so it's only hap gonna happen if the Valley oh, makes a happened. mistake. But we just barely missed it off camera. What happened to Papa Dog? He just got dogpiled on, and that will be the end of him. As you can see, S11 going for a different approach right here, jumping in, making a play with the way of the dragon as well. But the vengeance is just tanking so much. There's oh, a no! Oh, no! No! Wow! That's Fight Chicken taking one, one versus three. Erwin is an H target, and Fight oh, Chicken no. is going again and again. The Lord gets picked up, and look at Yotun. This is a disaster. He's forced to run away oh. as Erwin slowly but surely has to be chased away. Yotun is alone. Oh, oh, no. Look at with the play. The ruin of the relation will secure that kill Wait. as well. One not over. over. It's one not over. One right here. <laughs> Look at the blood right to his face. The flicker will not actually help land that skill shot, but the basic. He is trying to go oh. for that kill, but oh, the triple shadow, the quest shadow, by the way, by Yotun is being used oh. on the other side of the map, though, in the base of S11. What? Fight Chicken just isn't stopping. He's going in again and again. Mobile Zane with the heavy spin, a bit too overextended, though. This might be the chance that S11 needs. Ruined Village is being used. And that will be the valley. Overextended is an understatement. I think that team fight and that sequence happened maybe a minute too long, and they're still not done. They go for Yotun, and that will be him finally, finally taken taken out by the members of the valley. And now with the Lord pushing in on the top side, consider S11. They're trying their best to clear this Lord, but it might not be possible. Super Shark comes in yet again, just stunning up Papa Dog as the as basic just do so oh. much damage. And the Numenon Buster actually lands. Basic, no fear all the way in the front. Actually trying what? to out damage Mail at the same time. Erwin and Chan, the only two members left alone against the Lord, against the three members of the Valley. Oh, won't no. be enough. The Valley will be the main, the, the, the winners of this match. Took a while, but the NA representatives, the crowd loves it. Dude, I mean, like, it's so weird where start off the game slow, Meet game slow, and late game just went to 11, man. It just pushes all the way, right? Late game had, like, fights happening across the map.
Yeah, again, congratulations to our match winner, The Valley. And in the game just now, I feel like when we saw three members on to fight, Chica, we're like, okay, maybe he can take one. But he's like, nah, if all three wants to fight, let's go. Vengeance was clutch. He took down Mail first, and I think that was key. The fact that the first 